Kenya to Colombia, from Iraq to Korea, in slums, in schools, in prisons, and in theaters. Every day, people gather at TEDx events around the world to hear the best ideas bubbling up in their communities. Today, you are part of a global conversation about our shared future. So what is this TEDx? TEDx is an initiative of the TED Conference, a nonprofit devoted to ideas worth spreading. We grant free licenses to allow TED-like events to spread globally. This event today is based on the TED Conference format and ideals, but is independently organized by your local community. So please make sure to thank the team of volunteers who worked so hard on today's event. It's their ideas dedication and time that made it all possible. It's they who booked all the speakers, and the views you'll hear today are of course those of those speakers, not necessarily of TEDs. But we hope their talks spark an exciting conversation among you. This is a day for curiosity and for skepticism, for openness and for critical thinking, for inspiration and for action. The more you enter into it, the more you'll take out. And now, on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world of e-commerce. I believe that all of you have used a, var a variety of e-commerce platforms to shop online. It is my pleasure to have a fruitful discussion with you about our global business. Whenever I want to buy things online, I will look through all comments at first. I want to find out the inner sense of identification for the product I want to buy from other people's comments so as to convince myself to buy it. But sometimes things can get really weird. Uh, I don't know if you have experienced a situation like when you will look through the comments from a closing retailer and he said it tastes good, my son was pleased. There could also be several people using the same content and the same picture. I mean, they can be all families and both the same thing for many times, right? Here are three screenshots of three different clothes I picked randomly from the same shop. You can see they all talk in the same style. They praise the color, the size, the delivery system, the attitude of the owner. If I like a jacket, jacket real much, I wouldn't say that much. I would probably just say it was nice. I can even feel their desire of persuading me to buy it. And if you pay close attention to their ID, they all start with letter and end with number. They all start. Uh, and I think those are the same people in two totally different products. Uh, obviously, the owner was making good comment for himself. For someone like me, one real comment for the product, this fake positive response was useless. And things are not just happening on good comments. Some shops will hire people to give negative comments to their computer's product on purpose. This, this fake view making job are real business run by professional team. They will look for people who have spare time and need quick money, just like uh, retired people and university students, right? I'm sure you have seen similar advertisement like this in your QQ or WeChat group. WeChat group. And many people think it is not a big deal to make fake, make fake comments, but actually from July 10th, 2019, the Chinese government introduced a policy that people who make fake comments on purpose will have the chance to be put into dishonest list, which will have a bad effect on their personal credit investigation. To solve this problem, we designed a platform named the Ecoms Review. It's our logo. We designed the platform named Ecoms Review Validation. It will, uh, at first, it will automatically identify those comments with the same content and picture. It will mark them, and everybody can see it. It will, it will also mark account. It will also mark account if it constantly make negative comments. Furthermore, uh, for those who register on our platform. Uh, the platform will, will have access to their gender, to their uh, buying behaviors, occupation, education level. All the information are from government database. Uh, because of the policy I mentioned about, 
the government will be glad to work with us. Then the platform will analyze how related the comment is to the product and if it's worth to trust. Finally, the platform will give a per percentage of reliability of their comments. Uh, people can only see the results provided by our platform. Uh, they cannot see the real personal information. For example, if a person by paying for the first time to decoration to decorate his house uh, and his job has nothing to do with painting, the platform will probably give a low percentage of reliability of his comments. But if a lawyer by his face computer, even his occupation has nothing to do with a uh, computer. He has bought five computers. He must have. He must know some about it. So the platform will probably give a pretty high percentage of, of reliability of his comment. It, uh, and there will also be a authentication mark near their account name. Uh, for those who do not register on our platform, they will not have the mark, so the seller and the buyer can pay less attention to their comments. It's just like when I do research and look for literature, I will click the pure, uh, pure review option, which will make the whole research process in a, condi in a healthy condition. In return, except the better internet environment, the members of our platform will get certain discount and some privilege, like get refund immediately and exemption from passage. This privilege will pr be provided by the platform since we help them to solve the free common problem. And e-commerce, the e-commerce platform are all over the world, so it is the same with the free common problem. We can have, have this business model in many countries. We will mainly focus on the most used e-commerce platform in each country. In the short term, e-commerce reviews validation was designed to solve the fake problem, but with the process of correcting the fake problems, the owner can know their product better and make real progress. As Elon Musk said, looking at the future from a probability perspective is like constantly making choice in a fork on the road. With the ability, with, with the behaviors to change the likelihood or accelerate one thing or slow down one thing. I introduce you uh, the platform with a problem of untrue review to, to build a more authentic uh, e-commerce environment. With our platform, the e-commerce environment will move towards to a truly reliable direction in the future, along with the, uh, the loss of the economy and the needs of human nature. Inevitably, I think our, uh, the presence of our platform will accelerate this trend to some extent. In the future, with the development of our platform, I hope we can solve more fake, fake common problems, such as um, diversified online bookstore, second-hand online trading store, takeaway food online, online platform. I think it's very important to have a really have an really exciting and yielding future. So I keep asking myself, why am I here? What inspired me? What's my expectation of my own future? But the truth is, if I don't live in a real world, there is no need to pursue such question. So I hope we can all live in a real world with real, real comments. Thank you.